Marcel Wanders has been called the Lady Gaga of design but I prefer to think of him as the Thin White Duke. At 193 cm, coiffed by pewter locks and with a penchant for chunky neckwear, the 53-year-old Dutchman has spent two decades shape-shifting our sense of what an interior can be. Clashing ceramics, fatalist carpets, tableware that's all the fun of the fair, if it's oversized, eye-popping and darkly surreal, chances are you're in Wandersland. The whole design world is founded on the delusion that if designers make, then life will be better for everyone, he says, surprisingly feisty after a long-haul flight. I was taught that the Bauhaus was the shit, that that was the way things must be done. But to me design is about love, about passion, it's about getting into people's heads and hearts. He does that by creating what can best be described as dreamscapes, projects like the recently opened Mondrian Doha Hotel which boasts a shiny geodesic atrium, crenellated lamps the size of carousels and a swirling black helical staircase embellished with globular iron lace. Even on the ground floor it inspires a sense of vertigo. He wasn't always quite so flamboyant. Marcel Wanders arrived on the design scene in 1996 with a funky chair made from knotted carbon fiber rope that had been strung up and impregnated with epoxy resin to create a rigid seat. Simultaneously archaic and high-tech, the knotted chair became the emblem of a nascent Dutch design movement known as Droog, or Dry as in dry humor. Quickly snapped up by Capolini, and produced in a limited edition of 1000, it entered the permanent collections of museums around the world. Exhibit A of Conflicted Fenda Sequel Aesthetics Infectious Portfolio Advertisement Meanwhile, Wanders evolve a portfolio of intriguing, if somewhat troubling, objects. His egg vases of 1997 were made by inserting boiled eggs into latex condoms and casting the nubby form in porcelain. In 2001 he unveiled a series of five airborne snotty vessels devised from digital recordings of human sneezes which were scanned then 3D printed in polyamide. Each vase is named after a different disease of the nasal cavity, Ozina. Fetid discharge, polynosis hay fever, coryza, runny nose, influenza and sinusitis. Love them or hate them, they were infectious. Gradually, though, the conceptual provocation sagged into a sumptuosity rooted in the Dutch Renaissance. His Amsterdam-based manufacturing brand is called Mui, Dutch for beautiful, but with an extra O to designate an eccentric sense of excess. Clients run the gamut from posh tableware, Baccarat, Christoffel, Alessi, to civil aviation, KLM, to hold hotelry for the likes of Hyatt, Miramar and Morgans. Asked to define his modus operandi, Wanders responds, how can I make this life explode and use and be full of sunshine? In fact, he always wore the drug label somewhat uncomfortably. There's little laconic about him. His designs are deliciously wet, laden with emotion, his heart worn on his sleeve. I've always felt that design is a positive thing whereby you can share your trust, your idea of the world with others, he shrugs. Setting up Mui, he says, was a necessity. Big companies knew I wasn't going to make something easy or nice for them, so I had to produce my own work. Today Mui is an umbrella brand for some 36 designers operating under Wander's creative direction. Names that resonate across the culture, such as Jamie Hayen, Nikos Apank, Nari and Who, Studio Job. Swedish collective, Front, produced its life-size, black PVC horse lamp with the shade protruding from its skull under the banner of Mui. We don't tell designers what to do, Wander says. We listen to what designers want to make, try to realize their dreams. Born and raised in small town Boxtel in the southern Netherlands where his parents had a shop selling everything from coffee machines to the porcelain cats people put in their windows, Wanders insists that kitsch is very honest. It represents what people like, 
their dreams. Expelled from Design Academy Eindhoven for his refusal to accept its rationalist teachings, he completed his studies at the School of the Arts Arnhem with the conviction that generic, minimalist design that ships easily in a box was not what he wanted to do. The designer's role, he says today, is to make objects that amaze. Movie is available from Space Furniture.